up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the floor. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 152 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 153 pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, The Flash! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Tonight. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge and the striking to carry them to victory. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Comes through with a big knee. Oh, just misses with the kick. Then 
both guys really throwing with authority. Trying to establish that jab once again. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just misses with that one. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Keep your head in it. Keep your head in it. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just out of range with that left hook. Look at the turtle in that kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Big body kick. No give on that leg kick. Nice punch, Lynn. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Just missed with the left there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, massive kick, didn't see that one coming. Back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. 15 seconds. Big kick lands. Punches blocked. Round two straight ahead. All right, well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should laud the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick, too. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landed. <laughs> Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on now. Man, the whole thing. Oh, what a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Circling to his right. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, single collar tie here. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? <laughs> Just unable to quite find that range. <laughs> Tried with the uppercut there. Just missed, or so it appeared. Huge block! Punches. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. shot to the body beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Oh, he heard a belly jab. Oh. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Had him hurt, almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling this round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Uh -huh. 
I've ever seen. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! Oh, straight right! Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Left hand punch from the clinch. That's a big strike right there. Right hand upstairs. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. It's so good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, man. You to check these kicks or you're going to be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Nice kick. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Nice connection with a the punch there. Oh. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, crippling knee to the body! That is a thudding leg kick. Misses with that punch. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Slips to avoid the right. Ooh, big shot lands. with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Able to check that kick as well. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Head kick. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. And they separate. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, 
how well his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Now, DC, talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice right hand. Just missed with that right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. Right hand on point. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that this fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high to the point, thought he was going low, and now he's got to hurt very badly. Look at the whip action that comes to him in that kick. Blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Defense. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Try to establish that jab. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And just misses with that big right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Good punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, that right thigh starting to welt. Some serious bruising going on here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Under a minute now to go. Lands the right hand. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Left hand punch to the clinch. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh, 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 That's as good a punch as his 
first one on up. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Final seconds here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both display great technical skills, unbelievable strike. Real sneaky body kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Push, push, push. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand. Just out of the... So he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Knee is blocked. <laughs> Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, big head kick lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Beautiful punch. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything. Oh! He's out! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop this contest. At two minutes, 20 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, the flag. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And you gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations. Still dangerous, goodness, gracious, move like the Gracie brothers. You're a pain in sun. Fed everybody, they don't save me none.